Okay. So far this is working. Okay. I am back at tricks again. Got a bit done with this. However, I have a few design problems. Uh, this particular hole needs to be uh, remodified to get enough adjustment here. Now this is what this will look like. Now it needs to go a wee bit that way. Um, this then... Jesus, come out here. What is... Uh, this then needs to be... I had intended drilling elongated holes along here, but this is in my way, so I'm going to come up with some other good idea. Uh, stupid thing. Oh. That's what I could do. Uh, what we could do, maybe this part of it sorted, is um, on something under this. Tap it. Put some elongated holes on this, and then I can move in and out. Does that sound all right, everybody? We are back at this job again. I've been distracted. Ah, oh, shit! I've been distracted for the last day or two with other various jobs. Due to my line of work, uh, I am here all winter, nothing else to do. And this is where I spend most of my time doing fiddling and footing around, this kind of thing. <clears throat> but generally, you get called upon to help out with various things. But some do pay off. Uh, a good neighbour. Let's call him Farmer Brown for the want of a better explanation. Uh, the problem, he's an old Nuffield tractor. Still going. They just use it to clean the yard and maybe during the summertime they use it. Grass cutter on it. Just the top grass and that. So, yeah, we managed to shoehorn um, a pump on it. And while I was there, young Farmer Brown was doing what I badly wanted to do here, was he was cleaning out. And in the middle of what he was throwing out, outside the door of the sheds, was an electric motor, a two horsepower motor from an old milking plant, probably going back to the 60s. I was there complete. That was switch the whole lot. So, um, being the good neighbour, uh, I offered to... Um, relieve him of that, I would take it to the dump. So I have a motor that's going to work this thing. Now I'll probably use a lathe or something there for a test bed. <coughs> so yeah, we're back to this. We're getting there. Now if you remember, I was having strife with this guy. My drills didn't line up. So I popped it in. They wouldn't line up. Lift it up, turn it around. Fucking looked at it upside down. I turned the whole thing upside down, did all sorts of things. Eventually the penny dropped. <laughs> I turned it this way, I turned it that way. All I did was flip it upside down and everything lined up. So I didn't actually make a boo boo, but I was with the game. So, okay, I have welded these two pieces in and just did this way to go. This thing is still a bit hot, but we'll go with it. So, <clears throat> this should stick that in there for now. I'm going to stick a couple of bolts here. Now, these are long bolts, but what I intend doing is sticking it, locking them up with a nut from underneath. Now, that thing got hot. Every time you go welding stuff, it gets hot. I can paint the ash like that. 
How's that work? So basically that's what I've been doing, I've been using a, a Mac, it's a bad colour, it's the one I took off one of the grandkids. Um, she was deciding on a bit of art in the, in the bathroom. So I confiscated that off her, she's a fucking wild destroyer. But that came off fairly easy enough. So that was handy for here, you can get that's just an all I don't think I had in the supermarket or something. But that kind of stuff is handy for doing these things. Marking it, see where you are catching, and just walk all the way around. And, yeah, like I said, these bearings are tight. It is still making slight contact, ever so slight. And I'm going to try with that, see how that works. So that's what I've been doing. Uh got a bit way laid for a while because um, I had a visitor in here that I didn't want in here and um, I had to go kind of deal with that wasn't too successful drilled a few holes in a few things I think I only pissed him off more than frightened him off but I'll keep an eye out for him. Um, we will get him out. That would make sure of it. Which reminds me now, just in case the kids come in on you fucking thing. be close at hand if that fella shows his fucking face again. Right, so, what do I do? Yeah, we'll take this over. <coughs> I'll do what I mean is I'll just hook it up on the lid. See how that goes. I need to shut that thing off now for a minute. Door skier in the house. Twenty seven. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Yes, there is. I'm going to move this. In case I need to get the fuck out of here and hurry. No, I'll really see from there. Yeah, you'll be able to see the wreckage from there anyhow. Moved on for a couple of years. What's that? 87. 87.
270. Ah, fuck. Go for 370. Yeah. For a minute, why so? Because yes, fuck, I thought I tightened that. Seems to be working. There is a small, it's it just missing a small bit there sometimes. Nothing amazing with it though. It works. Now, of course, the idea is that will be turned up that way so that you feed it down from above. All I have to do is, well, all I have to do is do no shaft. And then bearings are going to have to go. They're not hot or anything, but at least I know it works. And I think I you know how the small problem there with it not doing a clean cut. Yeah, I have too much back relief in it. And that be the cause of the problem. So at least when I go to do the full job, all this, this, all that can be used. Yep, it works. Maybe a small little bit of tweaking, but no, 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 minute. No point in wasting energy. We have to look after these bison. Their global warming bullshit. 
basically the greatest tax scandal the fucking planet has ever seen. There's a few dodgy bits like that there. I have about 12 degrees a kind of a rake and those <coughs> I think 5 would be plenty that's why she's trying to pull it a bit oh, I got something put that in there 